Hello, Dr. Tyson, Dr. Keating, uh, 10-year-old Ruben, and 6-year-old Eli here from Harrisburg, PA. All right. If everything was compacted into one tiny dot, smaller than a speck of dust before the Big Bang, uh, what indeed formed the dust? What was around prior to the Big Bang? Doesn't this mean that there was another universe that collapsed to form ours? So what's the deal? I wish that those uh, young people would have said, I have a very simple question for you. Not that you don't know it. But Exactly. But perhaps you should. We are trying to know the answer. We is the full community. Yes. The community of scientists, but specifically on the Simons Observatory. Their very question is the question the Simons Observatory is in part designed to answer. Was right. there uh, uh, was there any sense? There's right. got to be Santa Claus up there. Yeah. But in reality, we can answer that question in the affirmative. As you actually hinted at, there could have been a universe that existed beforehand that actually collapsed in what we used to call a big crunch. Now we call it a bounce. They're actually some of the most eminent theorists on Earth, including those that... Right. So, uh, uh, so the a actual answer is we're trying to determine not what happened. Because in science, you can't prove something happened. Like right. you can prove one plus one equals two or one times one equals two, as you tell Don't our mutual friend Terrence. Uh, but, but in reality, we can't prove a, a physical fact, but we can falsify alternative models. So if we see this twisting, roiling, twisting pattern of polarization called curl modes or B modes, that will falsify the other models, that there was a big crunch, that there was a, uh, a previous existing universe mm -hmm. in a cyclical model. So we can f prove those wrong in uh, getting more data about